The same earth movements that trigger earthquakes created these mountains. The rupture along a fault during a single earthquake does not form much topography, but a broader geologic view reveals that thousands of earthquakes over millions of years uplifted mountains and down dropped basins and gave Los Angeles its distinctive topography. For example, when we view all of California and Baja California, we see that the transverse ranges of Los Angeles have an east-west orientation, but all of the other topographic features have a north-south orientation. The Sierra Nevada, the Great Valley, the Coast Ranges, the Peninsula Ranges, the Gulf of California. Probably no one better understands the plate tectonic history of North America than Dr. Tanya Atwater. She can give us a good understanding of how the tectonic plates have moved and interacted over geologic time to form the topography of Los Angeles. If we could come back 20 million years ago and check out this part of the rim of the continent, we'd see that there were no transverse ranges, no islands, no Los Angeles basin. All those features were formed during the great shattering and shifting of the rim of the continent as the San Andreas Fault was formed. About 20 million years ago, the Pacific Plate began scraping against the edge of North America. It began tearing off fragments of the Californias and carrying them away. The block that was offshore of San Diego was torn off, but not completely. While one end of it was carried offshore and up coast by the Pacific Plate, the other end was stuck so that the block gradually rotated around into an east-west orientation. This rotated block became the western transverse ranges, and the Los Angeles Basin, both onshore and offshore, was opened up in the wake of that rotating piece. It would be a deep basin filled with ocean if it weren't for all the sediments that keep filling it in. About five million years ago, the Pacific Plate captured Baja California and Southern California, including the Los Angeles region. It began carrying them up the coast as well. As Baja California was pulled away from mainland Mexico, the Gulf of California formed in its wake. During that same motion, Southern California encountered the big bend of the San Andreas Fault. It was rammed up against it, pushing up the San Bernardino, San Gabriel, Santa Susana, and Santa Monica Mountains. This process continues today. The Gulf of California is being pulled wider and wider, and the mountains of Southern California are being pushed up higher and higher. And this means lots and lots of big earthquakes because all the land west of the San Andreas Fault has been captured by the Pacific Plate and is moving with it, carrying Los Angeles, coastal California, and Baja California northward, heading toward Alaska. As the Gulf of California widens, the two plates pull apart and magma rises to fill the gaps between plates, then solidifies as new seafloor in the Gulf. The northern end of the Gulf is not at the shoreline. Rather, the Gulf extends northward beneath the cities of Mexicali and El Centro and on under the Salton Sea.